Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. It's so creepy to be in a Zoom room with Niall Horan as he's post he's posing in all these suggestive pornographic poses. Hi, Niall. PG, it's PG, it's PG, Elvis. Keep of it clean. Of course it is. You keep it clean. Here we are in the Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. Niall Horan actually uh, interrupted a golf game with his cousin just to talk to us. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. He's golfing right oh, now, Froggy. I'm so jealous. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not joking around. I'm going to switch the zoom around. There it is. Oh, all nice. All hey. So wow. you're in you're in London at some golf course. We're going to send people over. They're going to come bother you. Please don't do that. You've already, <laughs> you've already, you've already interrupted enough. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Screw me. So let, I'll tell you a story. So uh, right around St. Patrick's Day time uh, in March, Niall was actually not only coming onto the show. We were going to go down to the pub down the street. And sing songs and do, and do shots and all sorts of things. And, of course, <laughs> creepy COVID decided to uh, cancel all that. Yeah. And then that was it. Poof, you disappeared. We missed you. I know. I was coming to – I was in L.A. I was doing Corden. I was doing a week on Corden, which we got to do. And then the week of album release, I was going to be in New York. I was going to come and do that with you guys. I had plans on the all TV shows, et cetera, et cetera. The whole St. Patrick's Day thing, album release, me being Irish, sounds great. But then, as you say, COVID came along and wiped all that one clean. Right. Yeah, Yeah. obviously, uh, your hair has grown very long during COVID-19. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of into it now, you know that? I feel like... Yeah, it's, keep it, it, must I like be, it. it must be nice to have hair. What's that like? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fro Froggy and I, we have no hair. Hey, so um, I'm, I'm intrigued. I, I know that you love being on a stage, Niall. You love having mm. a band behind you and, 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 and fans in front of you. And of course, poof, that all went up in smoke uh, for now. But you're doing this, this live streaming performance at Royal Albert Hall in London, November 7th. Th you know, you grow up you, as a musician, as an artist. Oh, my God. I get to play Royal Albert Hall. Well, you do. Unfortunately, no one's going to be there. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. No, I wanted to do a, a, like a virtual gig and with a difference. Um, the first venue I thought of was Royal Albert Hall. For those of you who don't know what Royal Albert Hall looks like, it's the most beautiful room. Um, it's just incredible. Have a Google. Um, but I, well, that was my first choice, and thankfully we got it. Um, yeah, and it just, I know like, I've played the Royal Albert Hall on a couple of different occasions um, before. But this time it's going to be definitely different because, as you say, there's going to be no one there. I'm not even allowed to bring friends or anything. Not even like you can't bring any of your family members, nothing? No, we're on like some sort of like wow. traffic light tiered system and lockdown over here. And we're in tier two at the moment, which means that you can't have a certain amount of people in the same place at the same time. And you can't mix households. Or, I don't know. I'm wow. not sure. I tell you, though, you know, in the very beginning of uh, the pandemic, we were doing virtual concerts with artists in their living rooms and things. Mm -hmm. And it was all kind of kind of like this Zoom room is now very raw, very unprofessional looking. <laughs> Something tells me once you hit the stage at uh, Royal Albert Hall, it, there's going to be a slick look to it. I mean, yeah. we, they've figured out how to produce these things in a way where it's now it's now beautiful to watch. I mean, is this going to be the case with your uh, performance? Yeah, 100 percent. First of all, we got lucky with the room. I mean, it's the most regal looking it's in a circle first of all so um that helps and for the shooting of it um yeah it's got these old red theater seats it's going to look incredible and we were obviously going to light it up lovely as well and um yeah just it's it's just going to be amazing and the production teams that are putting these things together as you say they're like they're tour standard you know they're they're as good as they you can get in certain terms of like touring stages um so it's going to look amazing and also gives me a chance to play the album that i never got to perform effectively yeah and then and in turn um i, I assume we'll touch on it in a second but uh, giving away all the money to um our crews we'll talk about that L let's not wait mm. let's talk about it now where, where, where will <laughs> okay, all the well, proceeds go yeah every single penny that's made is going to go first of all to my crew who we didn't tour with this year i would have toured with their like family to us and and i would have and didn't get to tour so which means if they don't tour they don't make money and uh sadly, um, and they've been kind of left behind by the furlough scheme, if you like, um, because they're, they work in a 4.5 billion industry to the UK, for instance, um, and they were completely left, the engine room of the arts industry was completely left behind. So I didn't think that was right, and the government weren't going to do anything about it. So I thought, it's in the artist's hands now, and I urge other artists to, to do what I'm doing, and um, I'm not saying everyone give Niall 
credit, but uh, if there's people coming to do these gigs, have a think about where the money goes. By the way, uh, Niall Horan's here with us. We're going to play uh, some music in just a second. Uh, a song written with you and, and another artist, Ash, who you've never met in person. You wrote the song over FaceTime, I guess. We'll, I, we'll get into that in a second. <laughs> no, you, well, by the way, what hole are you on? I'm on the sixth. I'm just about to play the and sixth what? hole. I suck. And what's your score? And what's your score so far? Are you even <laughs> one under, two under? <laughs> Froggy. <laughs> I think I think I'm three over. I'm all over. Oh, that's it's not good. Very wind, it's a very uh, it's a very windy day here in London. Town. Oh, let's not London, blame so. Mother Nature for your inadequacy. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, Elvis. It's it's man versus the elements out here. I know. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I know. If I was to tell the truth, it's like the day after tomorrow out here. It's an apocalyptic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the only reason. So, uh, you know, back to what we were talking about, you know, here in New York City, of course, with uh, Broadway all shut down and off Broadway, and of course, the West End uh, Theater District in London and concerts, people, people tend to forget, well, there's more to it than just Nile. Oh, poor Nile can't perform. Well, there are thousands Honestly. of people who depend on those performances and the fact that you're giving back to them. You're, you, you are a nice guy. I'm now convinced. <laughs> no, thank you. I just thought it was really important. As I said, they're the engine room to everything we do. Like. How do you think this, when you arrive at a gig, how do you think the stage gets there? It gets there with men and women getting up at 5 a.m. and going to sleep the next night after the gig. And the show makes us fly, you know, it, it, it helps, you know, it, everything we do can't be done without them. And uh, it's kind of a little more of like an education thing to the people who wouldn't necessarily think that way. Um, you know, and, and they don't get enough credit and they never really have. They're just kind of known as the roadies. But I mean, the show essentially doesn't happen if, they don't, if we don't have them. So I thought it was very important to, to, you know, they have mortgages, as I say, and kids and stuff and like that. And if they don't tour, they don't make money. Right. By the way, uh, so into what, eighth month of COVID? Is that how far we are? I so have what you, is it? <laughs> so, not, <laughs> so which one have you become? A chunk, a hunk, or a drunk? <laughs> uh, a good mix of all of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've definitely had a few. I've definitely drank a few gin and tonics over my time. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Um, I did not. To be fair, after like when I got back from the states, I was like, "There's going to be two types of people that come out of this. There's going to be disasters, and then there's going to be people who, yeah, he looked after himself." Um, uh, so I took up, you know, I started going to the gym, getting into some sort of a routine to make it feel half normal. Uh, or I would have lost my mind. And yeah, I kept, I'm probably the fittest I've ever been. Um, wow. So it's all going to go downhill when we go back to work, though. Yep, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Uh, okay, let's talk about the song. Of course, we're playing it on Z100 in New York and across the country. Moral of the story with Ash. So you and Ash wrote this together, but you've never met each other. Is this true? Yeah, basically, um, there was, uh, this song was written by her about, um, I'm sure she won't mind me saying about her, uh, her failed relationship, her marriage. And um, then when there was a, uh, she wanted to, to get me on it at some point. Um, and she got in touch through um, a mutual, the girl that works on my label that used to work with her. And then she, we just got chatting. And um, I was kind of nervous because it's such a delicate lyric. And all I mean, all you have to do is listen to the song to figure that one out. And, um, and I didn't want to mess it up, you know. And, and I, I told her before I sung it, I was like, this could easily go very wrong. And it, this could be Adele or Ed Sheeran. It could be anyone with much better voices than me. Um, but, could, you know, still might not get across the, the, the emotion in the, in the vocal and stuff like that. So I was like, if you don't like it, what I do, that's fine. That is so you on a cracker. You don't give yourself <laughs> enough credit because you, you've got a <laughs> fabulous voice. You really do. Yeah, hey, but I just put myself in the same sentence as Adele. <laughs> I, you did. I like that. See what she did there. How do we get Ash on here? Can, can you send Ash uh, oh, she's our here. Zoom, Zoom room? Where? She's here? Wait, where is where she? Where is she? I'm, I'm <laughs> well, on, on Ash is just here? <laughs> That's weird. That, was this planned? I thought we were being spontaneous. <laughs> I, don't, I, I can't don't, see her. I don't see Ash. I can't see Ash? her. I don't see her. Can you hear us, her. Ash? Ash, we're having a seance. Hello? No. Is she on the <laughs> golf course? ready to go play some more golf. He looked, <laughs> oh, he's, he's, like, he's getting up. He's walking to the tee. He's ready to go. Uh... We totally lost Niall's attention span. Gone. <laughs> he's well, like, yes, talk to Ash. Yes, goodbye. Okay, well, if, <laughs> if, if, in the meantime, I'm going to hit a shot. 
Oh, can we no, watch? Oh, no, cool. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> All right, we're gonna watch Niall Horan hit a shot. You can watch this later uh, online on, on our socials. Have we'll your see cousin. which of his tailor-made clubs he uses, because I know he's a tailor-made guy, much like I am. See, that's what I'm saying. You're a good one of the good ones. <laughs> right. Can't your cousin <laughs> hold the phone? Is he, so, yeah. is he so disinterested <laughs> in us? Could you could you hold the phone for me, Dave, please? Thank Are we live on radio? Because I wouldn't say this is very good radio, is it? No, it's <laughs> pretty bad. I think, we're, I, think we're, I think we're forgetting the fact that this is a radio show. It's okay. Um, it's I'm okay. loving this. It's a, radio, it's a COVID-19 radio show, so it's a bit mad. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> what are we looking at? What are we looking at? What we're are we look, shooting toward here? We're lo- down here. Somewhere. Yeah, okay, straight out there. <laughs> and he's hitting his driver. He's hitting his, he's hitting his driver. All right. Yeah. I hit my driver yesterday, and I, there's a lawsuit. <laughs> we got to whisper. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah Everyone, yeah. whisper, whisper, whisper. Okay. okay. And Niall is about to hit the ball. Judge his form. Here we go. And survey set. <laughs> oh my Ooh. God! Oh, that was the best nice. Best I've ever hit in my life. <laughs> See what we did? Wow. <laughs> See? See, you have to See? talk to us every day. <laughs> Maybe I should be on radio all the time. When I'm like, oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we. I guess. I guess uh, we're just kind of killing time till we can find yeah. Ash. I guess uh, Ash isn't coming we're, on then. Fine. We're going to go play for this. a long walk. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't you have a don't you have a I golf know, cart? Golf cart. No, we have to walk on this course. It's a precious course. It's a championship oh. course, so we have to take it. Be nice to it. Oh, it's yeah, you oh. walk, no carts. Wow. So you don't have beautiful babes and golf carts with the bar cart coming out to serve you a cocktail? It's a little bit more conservative over here in England. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks. Not in the trashy states. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, well, I tell you what. We're gonna, I'm going to play the song. I'm on, I want you to get back to your golf game. Would you please tell Ash we want her to come on with us next time, please? Yeah, 100%. Thanks for having me. I'll, um, I'll, I'll give her crap for not coming on. <laughs> all right. There's... We'll meet you at the uh, 19th hole for a drink after this is all over yes. with. 100%. Well, uh, when, this is, when this madness is over, I'll be sure to come and play a tune or have a chat or have a drink with you. And thanks right, for having well, me. It's pretty usual. Miss Niall, you. Uh, you, know, you know how we feel about you, and we are so proud of you. You're still out there doing it. And, of course, very busy today on the golf course. Very busy, man. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> there he is. All right. <laughs> Have a good game, and uh, we love you. We miss you. Come see us, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye bye. All right. <laughs> this is Niall. Moral, of the, moral, moral of the story uh, Niall Horan and Ash. The Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge.